Hey, what's up, everyone? This is me, Dre. Now, uh, recently there was a story that came out from Desert Vista High School in Arizona. Uh, a group of girls uh, who are graduating this year, they decided to go to school with custom shirts, uh, and the shirts had letters. Uh, it's a pretty large group of girls, between 16 to 20 girls. And the message uh, that they took when they uh, for the picture, it says, best you've ever seen, class of 2016. It takes me back to 1991 in Southern Maryland when I graduated from high school. Uh, we had a lot of fun. We didn't do anything like that, but we tried to go and do different things as a group of students just to have fun for our last year. Uh, so there's no harm with what happened. What happened afterwards is where the problems took place. A group of young girls, six white girls, uh, with the letters that were on their shirt, they basically decided to stand together uh, to spell out the word nigger. Now, uh, we all know that word is taboo, especially for white people. I mean, you don't want to be a white person that goes into a group of black people and says, hey, what's up, nigger? Um, some, someone's going to get hurt. Uh, it's, just that, it's just that simple. Someone is going to get hurt. Um, these little bitches didn't think for one moment that this shit was wrong. They actually thought this shit was a fucking joke. So uh, the person who took the picture posted it on Twitter. And of course, when you put shit on the internet, it gets shared over and over. So it's around the web. It's gone viral. Um, people from the student body got a hold of it. Parents from the students got a hold of it. And then, of course, news spread to the dis school district and more problems came about that. Now, the principal tried to do some fire control. So they had law enforcement there just to make sure that no one gets shot or, sh or shanked. Um, no fights breaking out. They suspended a girl for five fucking days. Five days uh, for making that kind of comment, uh, dividing the school. Some of the students are upset about it, some are not. Now, before people think that I'm sitting here attacking white people, let it be known that there are white people, blacks, uh, Hispanics, in the community that are highly upset about this, rightfully so. Um, to me, it is it is authentic, but at the same time, the way I see it is, um, these white parents that are upset about it um, they wouldn't really give too much or two shits about it if uh, black students were negatively impacted and they were the focal point. But now you have little white girls that put this message out and it's dividing the, the community, it's dividing the school, and parents are concerned that something might happen to their kids. White parents are, are upset. Of course, you know, when the news that was on scene started asking uh, parents, black parents, the black parents were upset. Some were, you know, uh, nonchalant, not many, but many were upset because as, in 2016, some people feel like this shouldn't happen. Um, me as a black person, it's not surprising. So for people who say, well, racism doesn't exist, it's going to continue to exist. And while people might say, well, it won't exist if you put it out of your mind, white people continue to bring this shit up about racism that keeps it alive. So it's never going to die. White privilege has people thinking that they have the right to say shit like this or do shit like this without any repercussion. And with a five day suspension, they're still going to be able to graduate with their class. I think that expulsion and not having that ability to walk with their graduating class is going to be punishment. Getting any type of scholarship that they might have moving on once they leave high school, uh, getting stripped from them, I think that would be further punishment. But then again, a couple of years from now, these little bitches will be doctors or um, someone of some high position within the community and life will go on as normal. But like I said, uh, this kind of shit happens. And when you look at the picture, they were so gleeful. Uh, smiling and happy, but uh, the the thing is just the fact that they thought this was a good idea, which is never a good idea. You're not going to see a group of black students huddle up together with letters on their shirts spelling out cracker, honky, wetback, um, towel head, nothing like that. And while there there can be discrimination within blacks and other ethnicities, because I've seen it, we don't focus on shit like that. We definitely don't um, we don't joke about shit like that. We understand that it's very serious, but we're too busy being discriminated against that we don't have time to just put on shirts to spell whitey or honky or anything like that. You're going to see videos on YouTube, and I'm not making excuses for that, but this shit is more prevalent. And white people are going to be very defensive. They're going to be very dismissive and deflective. That's white privilege. 
and my comment section are going to have people that agree and then there's going to be people that don't agree and the ones that don't agree um, generally it goes a little something like this why is it okay for black people to say it in rap songs but white people can't say it it's easy white people if you feel so fucking passionate about the word nigger go into a group of black people but take it a step further take a camera a GoPro your smartphone record the whole episode just go up to a random group of black people that you don't know don't stage this shit just go up to a random group of black people or a random group of Mexicans or whatever and say hey you fucking wetbacks hey you fucking niggers see what happens some will look at you like you need to be getting on your meds again some are gonna kick the shit out of you but if you feel so passionate if you're really dying to say the word don't be a troll and say it on the internet don't be a fucking coward don't be a keyboard thug in real life be about that life go up in front of a group of minorities that you see and say a derogatory term that's going to incite them and then see what happens afterwards if you walk away then consider yourself lucky but I can assure you that there's gonna be some words there's gonna be some sort of exchange but for those that want to troll on my page I'll address you motherfuckers the moment that I catch you anyway if you like this video hope that you like subscribe and share don't forget to check me out on Facebook peace